Hi guys, uh, this is the Innovative Minds Tutor. Right, in this video we are going to work with commutative property. What is commutative property? Commut commutative property means you can swap the numbers which are being added or subtracted and still get the same answers. Well, another thing that we need to note guys it, is that it can be used for addition of integers. Right, I repeat. Uh, commutative property means you can swap the numbers which are being added or subtracted and still get the same answer. It can be used for addition of integers. You may recall in our video 1 of MIP 1501, we spoke about integers. I said that integers are numbers uh, that consist of positive, integers consist of positive number and negative numbers. Right? We did learn about number line. We st uh, that is still applicable. Right, consider this. Let's say I'm having 1 plus 2. 1 plus 2 is the same as uh, two, uh, 2 plus 1. Right? It doesn't matter the arrangement, but we still get the same answer. That's what commutative property states. Because when you say 1 plus 2 there, when we say 1 plus 2, we are getting what? 3. We are also getting 3 in this case. Right? Okay. Um... <laughs> To make life easier, in this case, let's start with our number one. Let's say we are having a uh, five plus negative four. So remember, I told you, you 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 swap the numbers. Where last telling of five, here we'll start with what? We'll start with negative four. So it will be negative four plus five, right? We will just swap the number. Start with negative four and end with positive 5 right so remember um in our video one we learn about signs the importance of sign when we have positive and negative when you multiply positive and negative what do we get we get a minus so we are going to have 5 minus 4 right so so similarly remember here we have negative 4 plus 5 so what is 5 minus 4 that's 1 right so negative 4 plus 5 what is that it's the same as 5 minus 4 which is a one, right? So, yes, we are correct. We are correct if we use a commutative property. Remember, using a, a commutative property to calculate these values, right? Let's uh, let's do the second one. Okay, uh, the second one. Let's take negative five, negative eight. I mean, plus five. Let's put this into bracket. Is equal equated to. Remember what do you do? You swap the numbers. So where that is 8 now, that is 5. Where that is 5 now, that is 8. So we are going to have negative 8. So similar expect or similar method works in this case. Positive and negative is going to be negative. So we are going to have, um, what are we going to have? We are going to have 5 minus 8. So in this case, so take out the bracket. We are going to have negative 8 plus 5. Right, guys, if you struggle with integers, just go back uh, to video one. You will learn about the number line there. So what is 5, negative 8 plus 5? Negative 8 plus 5 is the same as saying 5 minus 8, which will give you negative 3. So we are going to have negative 3 in this case. You're also going to have negative 3 in this case. Right, so let's go to number 3. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, consider this. Um... We are given 7 plus negative 2. It's a similar approach that still applies in this case. So now you have to you have to use um, a commutative property. You'll just swap the numbers. So it's going to be negative 2 plus 7. So meanwhile, we know that a, a positive and a negative will give us 7 minus 2. And what is 7 minus 2? That is 5. So in this case, when I give a negative 2 plus five, uh, 7, it's the same as having 7 minus 2, which will be 5. So in this case, our solution will be 5. Right. So that's how, guys, you can use a, a commutative property in, in many cases. In this case, I mean. Right. Um, let's look at the last question. Let's look at the last question. Let's say... It's a weird problem. Jack Jack spends 
Jack spends, for example, let's say maybe Jack spends three gold coins, right? Three gold coins. Maybe he has three gold coins on a new telescope on a new on a new telescope. On a new telescope. Right? Full stop there. Maybe he finds eight gold eight gold um coins eight gold oh, on a desert on a desert maybe on a desert land on a desert land right think of this on a desert land full stop will the coin will the order order of uh of these events Remember when they said about the order, think of swapping numbers, right? Will, uh, will the order of this uh, events change? Will the order of this events change? Will the order of this events change? Jack, Jack's, uh, let's say it's Jack's, uh, total number of gold of gold right let's read this question jack spends three gold so we have how many golds there three gold coins on a new telescope right you highlight when you're working with uh weight problems highlight important weight he finds eight gold coins right we have eight coins uh eight gold coins he, he finds on a desert land will the order of this even change the total guys the way total speaks it speaks volumes the way total speaks volumes so uh they said jack spends uh coins on a new telescope you find uh, eight gold coins on a desert land will the order of these events change change jack's total number of gold coins um Yes, the order may change, but that will not affect the answer. The question, the answer will be, the order may change, but that will not affect the answer. Uh, let's say if Jack buys the telescope, and then he finds out that uh, it's negative three plus uh, eight, it's negative three plus eight, right? If Jack buys the telescope, and then he finds that the events maybe are negative three and eight, what do you do? The order will not change. The order will be what? In this case, it's the same as having um, 8, positive 8, uh, plus negative 3. So, some of you will ask yourself, why Mr. Richard uh, put a negative 3? Because there was a change. When there's change, you put a, neg a minus. So, there was a change. Ch uh, remember, and that the total means that we add. So, let negative 3 be a minus in this case. So we are going to have negative 3 plus 8. So negative 3 plus 8 is the same as having uh, 8 minus 3. So which will be 5 in this case. Similarly, uh, I told you that a positive and a negative will be a negative. 8 minus 3, what will be that? That will be 5. Right. Okay. So that was a commutative property, guys. Remember? Remember. Uh, it means you swap the numbers which are being added or subtracted, but you still get the same answer. It does not matter the arrangement. One plus one plus two is the same as is three, and two plus one is the same as three. Hope you find this video useful, and don't forget to subscribe. And remember, we love you.